noswaith a croeso mawr i chi gyd uh, at uh, y webinar uh, uh, yma um, ar uh, ddyfodol uh, uh, cefn gwlad um, a mae'n bleser gen i gael panel uh, bobl uh, yma i siarad gyda chi uh, yng nglinar pwnc uh, pwysig yma. Um, for those of you um, that uh, require translation, uh, if you can please look at the icon at the bottom of the screen, uh, which is the kind of world um, icon uh, which, uh, which has interpretation underneath it and press uh, and select English that hopefully should give you translation uh, for um, the event which will be in both English uh, and uh, Welsh uh, throughout. Um, Felly, um, mae'r uh, pandemic uh, Covid um, a uh, wahanol pethau sydd wedi digwydd i ni yn ystod y lenni wedi newid y ffordd i ni yn byw uh, ac yn gweithio yng nghem gwlad. Um, a mae wedi bwrw uh, pobl o bob cefndir, ond wrth gwrs um, mae wedi um, bwrw ni yn cefn gwlad um, falle um, uh, mewn ffyrdd gwahanol yw i'r gweddill, um, gweddill uh, uh, ar daloedd yng Nghymru. Uh, a heno yw'r cyfres cynta, uh, cynta mewn cyfres y ddigwyddiadau uh, a gynhelu'r adraws mis tachwed um, lle byddwn yn trafod uh, dyfodol cefn gwlad uh, Cymru fel rhaglen o ddigwyddiadau gwlad. Um, a mae 2000 ag ugen wedi bod yn flwyddyn beth fyddwn i chi galw i'n gythryblus iawn uh, os cyn cofio nôl i dachau'r flwyddyn oedd gyda ni uh, llifogydd um, yn gynharach y lenni wrth gwrs uh, gefnyn ni'r pandemig yn taro a wedyn wrth gwrs yr effeithiau mae hwnna wedi cael yr ffordd i ni gyd yn byw ac yn gweithio uh, yn sgil hynny. Um, a dyw yr ardaloedd um, cefn gwlad ddim wedi bod yn eithriad i'r rheini sydd wedi cael effaith um, o'r ffaith um, o bod y pandemig yna wedi bwrw. Um, a mae'n rai y gweddau o gymunedau a busnesau um, cefn gwlad wedi gorfod parhau i weithio wrth gwrs um, a parhau i, i weithio gyda defnyddwyr drwy y pandemig uh, wrth gofio y rôl bwysig uh, sydd gyda ni uh, yng ngheim gwlad er mwyn cyflenwi bwyd um, i, i bobl i fwyta. Um, fodd bynnag, maint wedi dioddef oherwydd cyfyngiadau sy'n effeithio ar y diwydiant gwasanaethau bwyd a newid yn y galw am fwyd ymhlith defnyddwyr hefyd. Uh, Llwn ni byth anghofio hefyd wrth gwrs y busnesau sy'n wneud y thrwystiaeth sydd wedi cael ei effeithio a wedi cael ei ymcwm yn cael ei gostwng oherwydd y cyfyngiadau teithio a'r cyfyngiadau ar uh, bobl sy'n cael cwrdd gyda'i gilydd a symud uh, o amgylch. Uh, mae hyn wrth gwrs uh, hefyd yn effeithio nid yn unig ar y uh, busnesau twristiaid hynny, ond y busnesau eraill wrth gwrs sy'n ddibyniol ar, ar y twristiaeth hynny hefyd. Nawr, mae gen i banel o unigolion gwych heno i drafod uh, ac i sôn am pybrofiadau nhw eleni um, a sut mae'r pandemig wedi effeithio arni nhw uh, a'u diwydiannau ac yn trafod uh, yr hyn maent yn ei rhai gweld falle ar gyfer dyfodol uh, Cymru i wledig. Felly, uh, beth na'n gyntaf, felly yw gofyn i'r panel i gyflwyno i hunen um, a, uh, uh, a, a rhoi gwybod i chi uh, pwysig gyda chi oholi cwestiynau i hyn yma. Uh, and if I can start with uh, you, uh, Jim Jones, uh, if you can just do a brief introduction uh, of yourself. Thank you. Northwest, uh, good evening, everybody. I'm Jim Jones. I'm the Chief Executive Officer of uh, North Wales Tourism. And North Wales Tourism is one of the largest destination marketing organisations, probably in the UK. Um, we are based in Colwyn Bay with a team of 19, and our pure focus is to promote North Wales as a dynamic tourism destination. And we've been doing that for 30 years. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jim. Ask uh, to Tina Gareth please. Oh, I think you off mute, Gareth. Sorry. Any? There you are. Yeah, technology. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of bubbles are mutually just a blender, for sure. <laughs> no, I'll do a good one. <laughs> anyway, Gareth Wynne Jones, do we? Farmer Munir or Tin Fluvan and Shama Vechan. And then in the immersive tourism, I have it. I can greet you and I go down. I have a lot of business that they are and have it. Bwyd, uh, Hybyr Ardal, a uh, trio addysgu bobl am amaith ac am ffordd â ni'n cynyrchu bwyd yn Gymru. Da iawn, diolch y ffordd gareth. Um, os tlai ddod ydych chi nesa uh, Dr. Eilir Hughes, os gyflwyno chi'n 
Hello, and as we far, Aylor Hills, then we, um, between Vinny Taylor and Gweithio and Nevin and Henry and Shane. Um, and we have it and with the Canal on our way with Custor, um, and a Hodic Petor Custor at Roscombe, a Matuiva and Nina Honino, and with the Hain the Artalois, a Shema Govali Hidman Kimined and Kali, the Custoriati Gilly, a Twin Arwin and the Artal Shale, a Hedit, um, a Ganagrol Depa, Hedit and a Maid of our Spitsi. Uh, um, and if I can come to you, uh, Sadie, just to finish off and explain who, uh, to everybody who you are. Uh, hi, everybody. Uh, good evening. My name is Sadie Pierce. I am a small business owner in Pembrokeshire, specifically Tembi, the Tembi area. I'm a full time business and media student at Pembrokeshire College, uh, currently in my second year. Um, and I have also been nominated for Welsh Young Entrepreneur of the Year uh, by the Welsh Women's Awards, and I hope to continue that into my future. Excellent. Congratulations on that award as well. Um, so, um, if we can start, um, a dechreg y da trafodaeth, felly, yn byth i beth yw y delwedd cefn glad Cymru i chi? You know, what, what, what does rural Wales look like for you, isn't it? So, um, perhaps if I come back to Sadie straight off, I think, if that's okay, and we'll, we'll work our way back. <laughs> um, so, there are a couple of things that come to mind when I think of rural Wales. Um, specifically in my local area, there are a number of things which make up the area um, and kind of make the Tembi Pembrokeshire area quite iconic. Um, specifically, the area that I wanted to focus on was the small businesses which make up the areas within the coastal area. Um, this year specifically has been quite difficult for small businesses. A lot of small businesses usually stay open throughout the summer period and then close through the winter. Um, and they rely on the money which they've made throughout the summer period to sustain them for the winter. And um, unfortunately that year, this year, that has not been the case. Mm. Um, there are several uh, small businesses which come to mind um, in my area. For example, uh, my hometown of Narbeth. Um, Narbeth is made up of some really cute, quirky uh, small businesses as you walk through the high street, uh, independent restaurants, small shops. And I believe that it just gives the place a bit of character and a bit of individuality and um, the tranquility that people get when they visit these uh, small sort of more rural areas is something that I think that everybody should experience once in their life at least. Mm -hmm. um, in Tembi, definitely we get huge influx, influxes of tourists um, coming from big cities in the summer period. And I just think it's amazing that the people get to experience what we experience every day and to just share the appreciation for that place is just amazing. Yeah, and making sure people are aware of it. Jim, that probably resonates with you in terms of the North Wales area, probably. Absolutely, 100% uh, there with uh, Sadie. Uh, and from a tourism perspective, especially across North Wales and with our rural areas, which is probably our finest asset that we have in North Wales, um, our landscape, you know, provide some of the greatest experiences you can imagine in the world in some cases. And, um, and many rural areas as well in our area are totally reliant on tourism. Um, mm. because there is very little else. And the further west you go, especially in North Wales, there is not much, you know, in terms of uh, the economy. But with my marketing hat on, I must say I've probably got the easiest job. And the easiest job is to promote uh, North Wales because we have everything in abundance and all within relatively close proximity. So, you know, our breathtaking landscape, we mentioned our heritage, which is second to none, the seascape, our language, our food and the drink, and it just goes on and on. And some of our attractions, and I think I just mentioned, are some of the best in the world. So it's no surprise that um, a few years ago that North Wales was recognised by Lonely Planet as one of the fourth best places to visit on the entire planet. Yeah, oh, excellent. So, and Gareth, um, a friend of Nana Renana, so Madelwe, the Massi Gadani or Ogamri and the Van, Digon Forest, even Bill and Radal Ogamri, Jim and Sharon, and the Nana, but with the Delwe D and the Verga, where Kem Glad Kemri are a draw doll. Well, Danny Lucas, Danny Bill, Melm, Taratuista, that they're not getting any pop team, or Stepan Drews, New York, more in a minute. On Tried Nigel Press, I Nigel Popol. I mewn, i wlad, i, I wario pres a fydd, a ti bod mai wedi bod yn amser cael ar gymaint o bobl, gymaint o fusnesa. Um, fel y meithwr, fel ffarm o'r ffodus iawn, ti bod, dwi'n cael wneud yn waith bob dydd ac yn cario ymlaen. Hain ni gofio, haid ni cael cefn glad 
sy'n gweithio hefo'i gilydd. A dyma, mae'r hydwaith o bobl yn dod at ei gilydd, a dyma eilid y deud fo'r fo hybs yma. Dyma, mae'r ma, pethau yma, um, mae'n wlad fychan, a mae gennym ni bob dim yni, a gennym ni gael dŵad a bobl efo ei gilydd i weithio i'r dyfodol, os diwn fwyd, os diwn pobl isio gwyliau, um, beth bynnau bydio, dyma, fe dyna ni wethu beth gennym ni yn gefn gwlad, gystal a fedra ni lawr yn gair dydd ac yna petawau, dyna ni'n gyd yn un wlad, gweithio fe gilydd i symud ymlaen dwi'n meddwl. Ia, yeah, creu rhwydweithio yna i, i galluogi hynna i ddigwydd yn dyfe. Eilir, ti'n mwyn dymiwn ar y pwynt na achos y... Ddys, sy'n cyrt, sy'n un dilyn ymlaen y byd gareth yn dweud ymlaen, sy'n beth sydd yn gwneud cefn gwlad mewn gwirionod y dyr bobl sydd yn byw yn cefn gwlad, um, ac y mynedda sydd yn cefn gwlad, Mae cewn gwlad yn lle, lle sy'n efo bywyd ynddi hi, a rhywbeth fel sy'n i fod yn, yn rhoed yn flaenoriaeth, dwi'n meddwl. Um, mae pobl pen, cewn gwlad yn draddodiadol, dal i fod i rhyw raddfa, uh, dal i fyw uh, nac oes i'w gilydd o'r teliad ag ati. A mae hynna'n gwneud ni'n gymuneta eithaf cryd uh, mewn byd uh, modern. A da ni yn gymuned gwydyn iawn, da ni yn, yn adlamol, um, resilience yn Saesneg. A Be mae hynna lygu di, bod ni ddim yn bobl sydd yn gofyn llawer, ond pan mae pethau mynd yn anodd, mi na ni gwffio hefyd, a dwi'n meddwl bod yna nerth yn y gymuned, er mor uh, preyn ydy, ydy, ydy'r niferoedd, ond mae yna galon cryd yma, a ma, ma, dwi'n meddwl bod rhywun yn gyfnod i neu lladd bywyrchu'r ynni, a gweld be ni'n ynni yn eisiau'r dyfodol. Mm. Ond mae'r cymuned yn yr hollol bwysig, yn dynnu, so felly beth yw'r heri a'r cyfleoedd felly sy'n ei gael, um, sy'n gwnebu ein cymuned yn er hyn o bryd, yn dyfe, a um, felly, felly siwt mae'r pandemig felly wedi effeithio yn yr ein eleni, yn dyfe, achos yn amlwg mae'n ystyru e, um, o os mae'r cymuned yn dod o'r tigilydd yn ystod y mesio dweitha yma hefyd, yn dyfe, so beth yw'r heri a'r cyfleoedd sy'n gyda ni um, fel cymuned y gwledig yng Nghymru ar hyn o bryd? Un o'r heriau sgyn ni ydy cadw pobl ifanc yn gefn gwlad ac yn Gymru. Da ni'n misio colli'r pobl yma. A tybo, mae amaith yn un, mae um, Jim yn eistoedd yn ochr i fan efo, efo tourism yn gogledd Cymru yn anfath a glawr yn y de. Tybo, mae gymaint o waith i bobl ifanc yn y jobs is ma. Chyn ni'n watchad ar ei hola nhw ac... Um, Mae blwyddyn yma wedi gobeithio a gollgadau ni i, I, I ber rhaid i ni wneud i'r dyfodol. Cos mae isio her fel mae weithio. Dwi'n gwybod bod ti'n dyfod am, ond mae isio her. Cos be wel i si yn bentra yma, oedd pobl yn mynd yn dol at y siop bwtsiau. Pobl yn mynd yn dol at y siop a bach leol. A rhaid ni bidio troi i cefn ar hynna, cos mae hynna ydy asgwn y cymuned. A mae isio gwotiad ar ei hola nhw i'r dyfodol. So, pobl ifanc yn cefn gwlad ydy beth sy'n i'n lico gweld. Yeah. And, uh, and Sadie, as somebody who's, you know, uh, set up her own business in, in a rural area, I mean, do you think that the opportunities are perhaps a little bit more obvious now after, after COVID and the realisation that you can be based anywhere and have an international business, isn't it? And that's something that perhaps we can show as an opportunity to young people who want to look at yeah, our rural areas as somewhere to live. Um, yes, I definitely agree with that. Um, specifically over quarantine, I, there has definitely, or have I noticed, there's been a large influx of people my age and slightly older than me who have taken the opportunity of maybe more free time to start up their own business. And it's great because obviously um, Pembrokeshire prides itself on its little small businesses. Um, we just have a lot more of that now. Um, I think one of the great things about um, obviously, it's such a difficult situation, um, but quarantine has definitely given people more time to maybe develop a business idea, which they may not have had time for previously, and work on that. I know um, myself, I have seen a very large um, increase of online traffic, probably because people have been online shopping quite a bit more than they used to. Um, so due to this, I've definitely seen um, more people coming online and personally, it's given me more time to develop new designs, um, to go out there and um, market the product. But in terms of young people uh, staying around the local area, I definitely believe that that's very important. Um, 
I think that uh, a lot of young people go off to university and then maybe look at other career options in the bigger cities, but I believe that Pembrokeshire and um, rural communities is where the heart is and um, it's very important to uh, appreciate that. Yes, we need to persuade them to, to stay or to go away and come back, isn't it? That's the, yeah. that's the crucial thing. Hey, Lil, do you mind to move another point? No, no. Of course, Marion and Garrett, just an acosiatra, do we need to have an hill here? So, do we need to have a train, say, Makanahi, ruins the Dimini Forth, do we need to have a Nettig, no previous call, do we need to have a with an Hastra, a good indeed of an old Evar, a good potter than our Gashina with an Emuin, Quasanithir, a Gimenet Marin, Rivathweir, Amnhuire, which are making the Ovedig. At the Manina Dana Danisha, Quislisha, and in the D. Have our pandemic come out and in Cupot to some high for Mount Dinas, my mob, what on Shriganis, my mob, when high for it, call Guerth, my boy, to throw them on come glad, my popolish, our one, and go out a Guerth and it is a diffic traffic, um, Shay or a Lukrev, um, Gashi, uh, come William Seri Walt Taylor, Hosses Dir Taylor, of course, Tala and a come glad. Um, do you know what the deeper than Governor Shimapo with the Edward Hippe and Risha as an ego with Tano? A mother one and governor, then governor, Mam Richard and Winter, then your papa was a sawity cattail, as an immediate state of more than no Gernali Carvaoid, a four, a bonometrid of all, a Cavrani, ear, ear, and Dithas, or Gminet, a great sink of a focus and there. Yeah, yeah, our guard is good, Danny, and they go over you and I'm glad and Hemery. Jim, um, you know, this year has been particularly difficult from a tourism point of view, isn't it? You know, what? You know, do you see opportunities coming here in terms of tourism or, you know, are, are there still very big challenges that we have to um, consider in terms of, um, you know, in terms of the effect it's had? I think first and foremost is just to recognise, you know, how huge and important the tourism and the hospitality economy is to the rural areas into North Wales. Because mm. in North Wales, you know, the economic value is worth 3.6 billion and it to create 46,000 full-time equivalent jobs mm. and you know the biggest challenge during this pandemic for us and it's probably been one of the most disappointing I, I understand you know but is the anti-visitor rhetoric that has been ongoing for uh, quite some time because you know it's not a competition between tourism businesses and our communities because our tourism businesses are our communities also so we we have a lot of work in order to do to try and express the importance of tourism to our communities. And I'll give you one example, you know, the hotel in the Conway Valley employ 151 people. And they have done regular people all through the year. They try to keep them employed all through the year. And they supply approximately one million pounds to the supply chain. So the butcher, the greengrocer, the fishmonger, the craft beer and food a distributor are all part of the bigger picture of that community that feeds tourism. So it's extremely important. And I think one of the biggest um, challenges is just to make sure that we work closer with the community and they do recognize the importance of our tourism sector. Mm -hmm. So is that the priority in, in terms of moving forward to make sure that that relationship is stronger, isn't it? In terms of that wider network in terms of community in rural, rural ways. Absolutely. For, for us, is, you know, we, we promoted ourselves as a, a friendly destination where visitors are welcome. You know, that's important for us. I think overall, overarching, the big challenges, as always within rural areas, are the digital connectivity and the transport. And it's also that we have a proper infrastructure in place to deal with the issues that are caused by a huge influx of visitors coming into the area, which was mm. totally expected, but we weren't prepared for it. I'm sure digital connectivity will be a topic that comes up for later on as well in that conversation. So I leave I leave that for one 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 second. Rwy'n arall, um, or I should have known that who are part of the behind blind or easy was land. If I need to need to um kind of mention a couple of the seven and if I part of the the behind world, the one and blind or easy or an um come in there gradig. And what things should we be prioritising in terms of our rural community? Gareth, you should have known that. Um, so ni'n licio gweld um, fwy fel yn ni sôn o gydweithio a bod ni'n medru defnyddio bwyd mwy lleol, mwy tymorol, ti bod cael y bwydydd yma y cigoen, y cigeidion, y llysia, 
Bob dim i mewn i sgolion ni, i mewn i spytau ni, um, dy mo'r lle mae allo, um, hybu Cymru fel un. Jim newydd eid faint o bres sy'n dod i mewn i gogledd Cymru e, e, efo un peth. Well, I ni, dan i'n eid ymysyf tŵr yma. Jim yn gwybod Rick Steves o Lenny yn mynd i fod yn masif i ni. Oedd o'n eid i bwcio jyst iawn i chwe deg o tŵrs. Ond i'n prynu trela newis bon i gario pobl o pentraidd hynny ond bod y coaches yn mynd i dŵr. Dyr trela ddim wedi cario neb eto. Ond dydy hynna moch, becos dwi'n gwybod bod yna, a mae'r pobl mae gyd yn aros yn gastell yn gonwyd bod nhw'n bitta, ci cleol. Mae gynnyn ni gymaint o bitha i gynnig i bobl. A mae'r rhaid i ni ddod ar y pob i weithio fe'i gilydd. Dio mi yw'n sych chdi cael nhw rhywun yn pendrawn a sy'n mewn grant ar hwn. A dwi'n meddwl bod y cynulliad, bod, bod y syned, mae pob, mae pob i fod yn y cylch yna. A hybu bob dim Gymraeg, ys ti bod, da ni, mae gennym ni broblemau yn y byd yma. A ti bod, mae un o'r pethau ydy yr hyn sawl y newydd yn sydyn. Mae gennym ni rhywbeth da ni'n mynd i gynhyrchu. Mae'n teulu ni wedi bod ar y ffarma 370 yn cynhyrchu bwyd o safon a mae ffermydd a ffarmwrs dros Gymru neud yr un peth. Hybu ci Cymru wedi dod i mewn am rhywbeth i dechrau dangos yna. Haid i ni gyd wan, dod at i gilydd, cefnogi gilydd yn bob modd y busnes i bach ar bob dim. A dwi'n siŵr mi fedra ni fynd ymlaen fel cenedol i wneud gymaint o wahaniaeth i ni fel Cymru. Ond mae, mae dau elfen yn rhan ysgu fyna, yn dyfe, ysgu pobl sy'n dod o tu allan, yn dyfe, a hefyd yn ysgu pobl sydd hefyd yn byw yn lleol, yn dyfe, yn byty bwyd lleol ar geiledd, bwyd lleol hefyd. Heilir, ti eisiau dymewn ar, ar y pwynt yna? Yn dyw, dyw farol, eisiau dilyn ymlaen y byr gareth y sôn yma, dyw fel pwysigrwydd bwyd, ond hefyd yn sgil bwyd, bwyd iach a llesiant, so well-being. Mm. Dyw mo bod hwn eto, gymnod i adlywyrchu y salwch sy'n wedi dod ar cymnod anodd y mae ni, a dyn ni lle fel cymdeithas yn Felly na'n llawer chi'r hynny, meddwl, wel, fe ydi'r peth pwysica i'n ni'n sef iechyd. A, a bod ni'n teimlo yn iach ac yn, yn, yn iach i medru gweithio o byw ag ati. Um, a a mae ma pwysigrwydd wedi allwyr eich bwyd yn hanfodol. O pobl sôn lot am ymar o'r corff, a bod hynny'n bwysig ydy. O dwi'n teimlo bod bwyd, yr rhywbeth da ni'n anghofio amdano fo. Ac da ni'n ma yng Nghymru yn cynhyrchu rhai o'r bwydydd y cynhwysion goran y byd. A ty dyn ni ddim, mae Gareth wrth i 24-7 yn trio hyrwyddo gystod y fedr iddo. A mae dref wrth i yn, yn hyrwyddo pan mae'r iach ydy bod yn cewn glad a bod o'n yn, yn, um, yn activity iach i fod yma. Ond dwi'n meddwl bod yna lot fedra ni'n wneud i ni'n hunan hefyd i'r bobl sydd yn byw yma. Achos rhywbeth i, I gyffwrdd y byd, ellaf Jim yn gyffwrdd yn aml gyntaf, sef gwneud i'r bobl lleol, bobl y wlad deall pan mae'r bwysig ydy, ydy twristiaeth. Dwi'n meddwl falle bod yna folch yna. Um, a rhaid ni gofio yn cefnglad, mae'r rhai o'r ardaloedd tlota sy'n ganddo ni. Um, a a, a, a maen nhw'n cael ei anghofio amdano nhw mewn ffordd, achos da chi'n tyd i gael y problemau cymdeithasol hefo ar pobl tlawd yma. Felly, eto, dwi'n ddim yn, yn gwneud clawer y dŵr amdano fo, mae'n mynd i'n caro ymlaen. A dwi'n meddwl sydd ni'n gallu ellaf, dangos um, pwysigrwydd iddo nhw o byd mae'r twristiaeth yn rhoi dydd yn nhw a, 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 a falle helpu gynnydd i bwyd yn nhw well yn am mis o bod dod i'r fath o gydbwysau wedyn hefyd. Yn sicr, mae dwi fyd egen wedi bod y flwyddyn i flaen yn reithi iechyd o fan pob peth yn dyfa, fe'n cedi mewn bwysig iawn i ddysgu pobl yr hwnna. Sadie, do you want to come in on this, on this particular question? Hi, um, yeah, I can definitely agree on sort of utilising the community spirit in terms of Fresh fruit and vegetables locally sourced, I believe that's definitely one of the most um, important areas which we can definitely improve on as a community as a whole. Um, personally, my closest big name supermarket, for example, Tesco, is 15 miles away from my house. Um, so we definitely try to utilize the smaller businesses, for example, food, produce, milk, um, as they're obviously a lot closer. Um, I think that one thing which can definitely um, try to be uh, improved on this year is encouraging people to start up their own small food businesses um for example i live in templeton which is a small village uh, we have no shops we have uh, one restaurant um which sort of uh, has the locally sourced food in there um however we do have a lot of farms in the village which i believe it would be lovely to start up a little farm shop 
um, maybe with the locally sourced bread. Um, but I definitely think that it would be important to uh, utilize that um, as also uh, helping to fund these people um, with their ideas as well. Uh, maybe creating grants uh, because I think that it can definitely be intimidating, especially in these times with the high street in so much trouble. Um, personally, I work in Carmarthen where every day I go to work and I see uh, shops, for example, big name brands like River Island and Topshop from small independent uh, restaurants all shutting down. And I think that the coronavirus pandemic has definitely impacted uh, their sales. And many of them, uh, business owners that I've spoken to, are unable to pay a lot of the uh, business rates, uh, mainly just because this year, uh, has, as everybody knows, it's been such a difficult year for business owners. Um, even bigger name brands are struggling. Um, but um, yeah, definitely trying to encourage to fill up that space. Um, because as much as online businesses are absolutely amazing, it's so lovely to see uh, all the it uh, just brings the community together, having uh, streets full of shops, especially independent shops. And it can definitely be intimidating to sort of take that leap into uh, actually starting up your own shop. Um, so I think that something which could definitely be uh, helped on would be that. And of course, in the last six months, we've seen lots of uh, dairy farms open their own shops at the end of uh, farm, farm drives as well in terms of milk. Uh, machines as well so we, we kind of the, the, it's, there's definitely a change in trend and, uh, and developments in terms of the way we buy food isn't it in terms of wanting to have locally sourced food so beth yw'r dyfodol yn fe beth yw'r dyfodol ni yng Nghemglad Cymru beth ni'n edrych amdano am uh, o ran beth ni'n moyn i Nghemglad Cymru edrych yr dyfodol a pa gamau bydd eich chi'n lico cael eu gweld yn, yn, yn cael eu gwneud er mwyn sy'n gyrhau hynny yn fe um, seid ni'n sôn fe nawm ti grantiau yn fe er mwyn cefnogi busnesau i ddechrau lan chwyd os na beth eri llyfr fod yn cael eu wneud er mwyn gwella a um, anno gwella rhyw dweithiau felly ni wedi siarad yn byddu neu'r cydweithio ni wedi bod siarad yn byddu yn gynharach. When we look at what we've got at this moment in time, we've already got, you talked about food and drink, and we've got one of the best offers that we can promote you know, to the world. And I think in practice, we've already, you know, we've already done that in terms of our, for example, our relationship that we've developed with Japan. And, you know, they, they have, they have you know, lamb weeks where they, sort of, they, they promote Welsh lamb. They mm -hmm. talk about the Welsh food and drink as if it's their own. And this is a huge commodity, you know, that raises our profile on the global marketplace. And I think really that's something that we, you know, will want to be strengthening and doing a lot more of. But for us, you know, going forward and um, making sure that our rural areas prosper, you know, we, we've been promoting ourselves because we've got the confidence to do that as the adventure capital of not just the UK, you know, of Europe, because we strongly believe we have that, that product that we can, you know, shout from the rooftops to say, you know, we have got this and you need to come to Wales and to our areas and just see what it is we have for you to experience. So, you know, from, from me and from a tourism perspective, it's about raising um, the profile of our best assets, and I mentioned food and drink, our landscape, and promoting that to the world and not being afraid to do that. I think that will go an awful long way. And at the same time, um, as Sadie was saying, you know, we've got a lot of micro businesses, which is the backbone of the tourism industry, and it's about supporting them. So in our area, you know, the cheese delis, you know, are, are becoming extremely popular and popular with visitors as well. And the more we've got of that, the better it is for the communities and for the people that, you know, prepare all the food and prepare the drink in order to supply mm. those businesses. So I think, you know, is to use those assets and market them globally is a, a real plus for, for the area of Wales and also definitely the rural areas. Excellent. Thank you, Jim. Gareth, do you mind to move? Yeah, I'm going to turn to English. Just, um, I'd like to reiterate what you've just said as well, Jim, because when we do the uh, immersive travel here with the Americans um, over the last two years, we've been feeding them as well. So whatever on the farm is seasonal, um, of course, we give them lamb and we give them beef, but whatever's come out of my garden, they get to try. We use local beers. And let me tell you, these people are going home, not just seeing you know a welsh hill farm or 
or you know Conway, the the castle and things. But they're taking home a piece of Wales because they've really gone into the heart of things by eating the food that's come straight out of the ground. We've got something really amazing. And, you know, you take that forward with a lot of people around you. You can build on that. There's hundreds of thousands of farms in Wales. And we could help little small businesses with that. You know, Sadie was saying, let's open little shops. You know, our village... They don't pay business tax on the little shops, which is right. And that's what government should be doing. They should be supporting them little shops, giving them a starter package. Some will start, some will fail, but you have to try. And, you know, to see our village full of nice little shops, if it's a gift shop, you know, or the butchers, or there's a flower shop, uh, it's nice because people come into the village and they see something. You know, and I think we have to have that busyness in our little villages, in our towns, and that sells something again. So again, you know, it's that hub, it's bringing together. But again, I'm going to go back to government, you know, and, and, and we need that. We need that backing. We need that forward thinking from our politicians working together. And I think sometimes we can bring some of the top people in every industry to sit down on a table to create a hub with some great ideas, get some brainstorming. Um, that's that's a television term that, that we use when we have an idea to go forward with with something, you know. But get get these people talking together to help Welsh government to drive forward. We've got a brilliant country. We've got fantastic people, and we need them to work together. And, you know, even in this pandemic, we've got the communications. We can bring this to the floor and get people to, you know, work together for the future. It's creating that strategic vision, isn't it? That's, you know, in terms of the way forward. Uh, Eilid, if I come to you next. Yeah, just the Denali, you provide to me that I'll go for your set, but Papa Langham deal with me. I'm probably then ag. If I'm going to ask you anything in my rain, I'm going to ask you for your tie, my um gallu prynu y tai bod nhw'n fforddiadwy yn y cymuned yma. Mae hwnna'n broblem sydd yn, yn, yn tyfu yn yr uthrol, pen yma o Gymru, prin bynnag. Um, a mae'n brydau'r mawr beth sy'n digwydd i'r merchant dau. Achos os ydych chi'n methu, methu ffordio'r tai yma, na fydych chi'n byw yma, a fydych chi'n ddim uh, cyfrannu i'r, i'r gymdeithas. Dwi'n meddwl, beth sy'n i'w cyrd dyfodol i gewn gwlad ydy bod yna rhywbeth o gyfartawydd yn dod, um, bod ni lla yn mynu gwasanaethau um, Mae pobl uh, mae'n ardaloedd fwy trefol yn um, gymryd yn ganetaol. Um, Dwi sôn am wrth gwrs gwasanaethau iechyd, ond hefyd gwasanaethau cymdeithasol. Um, pam na fedra ni ddim gofalu am yn bobl hun i sydd yn byw yma? Mae'n mae cyfartaledd, mae'n mae oedran yn bobl sydd byw yma, mae'n ardaloedd uh, gwledig llawer i uchnau gyda nhw, mae'n ardaloedd uh, gwle, um, uh, dines, dinesig. Um, a mae nhw'n dod yma hefyd wrth gwrs, nid yna mae nhw'n byw yma um, yn hun, mae nhw'n yn, yn ymddeol i'r ardal, ac mae'r ma, ma bobl hynny uh, yn aml iawn wedyn angen gofal, a pam na fydwn ni gwneud y fai, y maes gofal yn faes y bys a pobl sydd yn byw yn, 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 yn yr ardal gwedig, bod eisiau mynd i fawn iddo fo, dwi'n bod, bod na bwysigrwydd, bod ni'n rhoi gwerth mewn gofal, um, ac wedyn wrth gwrs hefo'r technoleg mae sydd yn dod, um, Medru, siarad efo chi, pedwar ban Cymru fan hyn, um, pam na fydyn ni'n gwneud bod yn gwasanaethau ni wedyn yn gallu dod i bobl, uh, dim os ydyn nhw'n ben draw, ben llun, i bod nhw uh, yn, uh, yn byw drws nesaf yr ysbeti, pam ddim yn dda, uh, mm. Mae'n ei gyd yn dod i lawr i hyder, mae hyder pobl ar hyn o bryd yn isel, a mae hynna wedyn yn cael effaith ar y chi'ch eich meddwl, a dyna beth gynnyn ni'r pandemig sy'n gynnyn ni'n ymblyn yn ni fan hyn. Bydd y feirws wedi diflannu, Mae fi'n gynnyn ni pandemig o, o broblemau iechyd meddwl. A dwi'n meddwl mae'r un i wir yn eddwl roi tŵna fel ble noriaeth. Achos os gynnych chi ddim iechyd, mae'n anodd iawn i chi sy'n mynd ymlaen uh, yn economau neu ne, ne fel cymdeithas chwaith. Mm. Nawr, pwynt o'r pwysig iawn neu le'r ynddo fe. A fi'n cedi, dwi'n mae'r technoleg nawr yn gallu ogi ni fach yn gweud i, i gagfarfod ar hwn yn unrhyw ran o Gymru ynddo fe. So, pam yna gos doctor o un ardal o Gymru yn gallu rhoi triniaeth dros, dros, dros rhywbeth fel hyn i rhywun yn ardal arall falle ynddo fe. A fi'n cymryd hwnna ddim bod i llawer yn ystod o hwyach mis ddatha. Mae beth o'n i meddwl ddim, ddim yn bosib hwyach mis nôl, dwi'n credu dwi'n credu dwi'n gyd o'n i dod yn arfer. Uh, pob un o hynny, her bod ni'n bach o technophobes, falle, wedi dod yn arfer, 
Jim, you wanted to come in again on, on that, that point, did you? Yeah, sorry not to go across because I know what emotive subject uh, the second home issue is. I just wanted just to endorse what um, you know, Gareth was saying because if you're ever looking for an example of a farmer who's still working on his farm 100% but for diversification, his offer of these immersive tours are probably you know, some of the best opportunities to experience what Wales is all about. And you know, on the, in the rural hinterland, to experience what they do, to listen to Gareth's stories, to hear about his food and drink uh, that he supplies them, is probably one of the best things I look forward to on a Monday morning when he starts to post his, his social media footage of all predominantly Americans, but um, many nationalities, of the experiences and you can see in their faces the fun and that's exactly the experiences that we want people to uh, know about Wales and enjoy about Wales. Um, coming back, yeah, um, Dr. Daly is, is, is absolutely right, you know, it's, it's a big issue in some of the rural, area, rural areas, um, you know, very, very difficult situation, but as I say, you know, if you want local people to stay, you need jobs, you know, and at the moment one of the biggest suppliers of those jobs is the tourism economy. Yeah. Um, perhaps uh, we can move on to a, another topic which has come up uh, earlier, which is rural connectivity, isn't it? Because that's a really important uh, issue for us in, in, in rural areas. Um, uh, we came with COVID with the dangos in the end of it. We were busy with moving gasly, casually get a pobal um our lane um a a kind of plan and the So our dear agoriad ma ran um gasly to get all and and vendeth and investeth and the way. I think while the Belmontes ma or near do with them and what does ma or and the way. I think I need to be careful when I'm barred or what I'm doing. Just to just to check up and even while the well um the well Robert says um see them or or what does uh what does you on heavy. Um, a ond i ni yn gallu manteisio ar y cyfle yma uh, er mwyn felly datblygu ein ardaloedd uh, gwledig ni a felly beth sydd eisiau ni rhoi yn lle o ran uh, you know, that infrastructure to enable us to, to put the, uh, and utilise those services fully in rural, in rural ways. Do you want me to come back to Eile? Because Eile, I'm not about 13 cod you just now, I don't know if I'm going to do it here. Ystach chi'n meddwl am yn breit o'r cychwyn y cyfnod yma o braid i ni fel gwasanaethu'ch chi'n symud ar gyflwndr neu wylwyd diriwyd o'r blaen. Ac mm. yna rwystra, dwi wedi bod yn taro'm hen yn erbyn y wal, ers blynyddoedd i, I geisio i goroesu i'r er mwyn uh, dod i rhywbeth atho um, ffeindio um, datrysiadau. Ac dros nos mewn ffordd oedd yr er, rhwydyn a llan y ffordd ac oedd modd i ni allu gwneud hynny. A dyma bod yr rhyddid yna, rhyddid i bobl sydd hefo yr meddwl garwch a'r gweledigaeth i allu um, dasblygu pethau. Dyma mm -hmm. beth eich maes chi, maes i iechyd, allai meddyddiaeth, um, mm -hmm. twristiaeth, dyma ots. Dyma bod hwnna'n bod pwys i gawn bod ni'n defnyddio y technoleg yma rhywbeth sy'n mynd i rhyddhau i ni yn hytrach na rhywbeth sy'n mynd i gael ei ddefnyddio eto i'n clymun i lawr. Mm -hmm. Sadie, I mean, that's probably a very big part, you know, important part of your business, isn't it? Being able to utilise that online presence. I mean, have you had any difficulties in being able to access that being in the rural area or not? Um, yeah, so definitely, I believe that having a digital online presence is one of the most key aspects to running a business in the 21st century, um, specifically social media. Um, it probably seems that everything's online now. Businesses are having to adapt quick, uh, faster than ever to the ever-changing internet. Um, I have definitely um, had struggles with gaining probably an online presence on platforms such as Instagram, because I feel like you have to understand the algorithm to be able to um, sort of grow on those platforms. And without having um, a base at the start, it's quite difficult to grow. Um, however, I do believe that it is important to um, help with those digital um, resources and try and find out as much information as you can. Um, specifically small businesses on the high street, um, I've noticed them as soon as quarantine started. One thing that I noticed was that uh, shops which I loved in Narbeth had created Instagram accounts and you could sort of see their products um, as if you were in the shop, which I really enjoyed and comment on them and help to engage with that. I think the one thing that uh, everybody could improve on as a whole is engaging with these small businesses because a lot of the time um, that is their way of getting their business out there, especially small startup businesses. Engagement really is key. 
um, and really helping these local businesses is definitely um, one thing which everybody uh, could take on as a whole. Even something as small as liking or sharing a post can really make a world of a difference to an online business. Um, one thing that I have noticed um, sort of having my own online business is that, um, well, sometimes around Christmas time, I will go to Christmas markets um, and sort of try to sell my items there. Um, this year, not so much, obviously. Um, so I've sort of had to focus my energy into, again, gaining that online presence. And yes. <laughs> Do we need to worry though about those that perhaps don't have that internet access or those that um, you know are perhaps uh, not as au fait with technology as we may, may be, isn't it? Yeah, and you just simply got the and I'm not going to share that. So, I'm going to share that. 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 I'm going to defnyddio technoleg uh, fodern rhwng weithio yma. A uh, peidiwch a uh, meddwl na pobl hen yn unig ydy rhy ni, mae'n nhw'n bobl o bob oed um, dwi'n weld o bob dydd, pan dwi'n cyfeirio bobl at ynddo sydd uh, ar lein y gati. Um, na siarad fach chi fel, fel i ni colin, um, dwi, dwi gonna'n ymhenni, ond uh, da i ddim ar Facebook, dwi ddim yn hoffi fo um, am wahanol rhys yma, ond wrth beidio fod ar Facebook, dwi yn colli allan ar digwyddiadau sy'n digwydd yn lleol, Dwi'n colli allan ar busnesau uh, sydd yn ceisio marchnata um, be bod nhw'n werthu yn yr ardal. Mi fosyn ni wrth y modd bysa modd ella creu rhyw, rhyw rhyngwaith newydd um, sydd uh, rhywbeth allan ni'n gallu ymhyfrydu yn fy nghymru fel bysa cwmni fel cwmni seidi neu, neu gareth um, yn, yn, yn ddefnyddio i hirwyddo be maen nhw'n gynnig ar y ffarm neu yn y siop. Um, mm -hmm. neu, 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 peth yma James yn, yn, yn geisio hirwyddo yn ogwydd Cymru. Sa na wych. Yn lle bod ni'n gorau dibynnu ar y platformau mawr mae fel Facebook yn gallu. Ie, ie, dawn. Dwi'n dweud yn gareth. Oes, dwi'n jyst yn mynd i ddeud rhywbeth stori bach o am benni si dros penwythnos. Um, Ges i negas gen nhw gwmni bach. Um, Mae'r dynas ma'n neud fatha um, siapia bach, rock beans bach, a, a tylleniniod, a, a bob fatha betha. Ac um, nath i ofys yn ei rhannu i tudalau ni ar business page fi. So, mae'n gennym ni business page Facebook um, a mae yna dros 50,000 o bobl yn dilyn o. So, ni si roed un share iddi a nath i yrru negas i heriw a ac o gen ni deigryn bach yn y llygaid yn darllen o gysol yn dweud, mae wedi gwerthu mwy penwythnos yma na i wneud mewn mis. Wow. Yn ei yn, mae dwi'n gwneud gwahaniaeth a dwi'n cytuno yn llwyr efo chdi. Mae ma, ma, ma Facebook yn medru bod yn wych a medru bod yn afiach. A dwi'n meddwl bod chdi yn hollol iawn, haid ni chwilio am rhywbeth. Na ella, eto rhywbeth i'r cyfeilliad wneud ydy meddwl am syniadau lle da ni'n medru dod ar pobl yma at ei gilydd, da ni'n deud yeah. yr hybu yma ac yr rhyngwaith. A ti bod, sy'n i fwy na hapus, so, dwi'n siŵr sy'n seidys a James a chdi. Ti bod, da ni eisiau pobl o bob bam yes. Gymru i rhannu hwn. A creu i rhywbeth, creu i momentwm. A iechyd meddwl yn, yn rhywbeth, dwi, dwi, dwi bod, yn gweld gymaint am bod lle dwi, am y gymaint o bobl yn gyrru negus ddion, mae yna adag tywyll i bobl ar y funud a rhaid ni ddanos y gola. Rhaid ni chwilio am y gola yna a gweithio fe gilydd i cael y gola i helpu pobl. A ni'n meddwl i roi gymaint o'r fideos mae fyny, gobeithio i, i roi gwen ar y wynab o, 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 o ryw gradur sy'n styrc ar yr M25, Tyn ôl i'r wdraffig neu mewn office, tyn ôl my office view, living the dream. Yn dweud dwi lwcus, ond dwi eisiau'r hanu hwnna hefo pobl a gael nhw i ddall. Fe dydd nhw fod yr hanu hwnna, fe dydd nhw ddod yma, ac tyn ôl prynu yn y siopa bach yma. Un peth arall, dwi'n meddwl bod rhaid ni really gweithio ar y connections a bysgyn yn ni. Tyn ôl, mae ma, connections hefo'r internet dwi'n sôn am. Ond rhaid i fi, a ma doi yn cwmni leni ac cael ein preifat, cos o dde wraig yn eist am ama a fysa i fod yn divorce ond bod fi wedi talu i gael ein, cos hi'n sy'n y, 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 y gwaith yn yr offis i gyd chwarae teg yn ni, ac o'n oed jyst yn dropio ac yn dropio ac o'n gynnyn ni ddim broadband speed, a ti fod, da ni wedi mynd allan na, da ni wedi cael um, cwmni Cymraeg a ma wedi wneud job wych. So, mae'r technoleg allan na, rhaid ni helpu'r busnesau bach ma, cael y technoleg allan yn gemglad, a fydda ni newid detha i bob.
Dau iawn. Os drwydd arall nad yw'n mae'r cwestiynau'n dwi'n mewn hefyd yn yr cwestiynau'r gateb ar y gwylod. So, um, os ai uh, fynd at un o'r cwestiynau sydd wedi dod mewn, yn dweud, a mae mewn nôl o'r pwynt o ddeilir yn codi uh, yn gynharach. Um, so, oherwydd Covid, mae mwy o mwy o bobl yn symud i gewn glad a gweithio o adre. Mae hynny wedi achosi chwyddiant mawr yn prisiau tai uh, yma yn llun, felly rhywun sydd gyda ni o, o ardal uh, llun sydd fynd yn gofyn cwestiynau. Gymaint felly, mae nifer yn trefi lle na all pobl leol brynu tai yma. Uh, mae hynny yn gwneud cewn glad yn angen eliadwy beth ydy'r ateb i hynny. Ac wrth ti hwn ddim, uh, Justin, rhywbeth sydd wedi digwydd yn, yn ardal llun, mae wedi digwydd uh, ar, ar ledled uh, um, Cymru uh, dros y misio dyetha yma. Felly, da i'n ôl tydi eilir gyntaf yn yr rhywbeth bod ti wedi codi eisiau, sy'n dyfa, sy'n dyfa, sy'n dyfa, sy'n dyfa, sy'n dyfa, sy'n Bé, mi sy'n gyrru drwy'r pentre hefyd yma um, yn mynd i weld claf ac uh, oedd y pentre yma hefo arwyddion y uh, tai di gwerthu neu arwerth. Am oedd, um, lle mater o dai gan lladd, oedd yna un ar ddeg arwydd am oedd pob un yn dweud wedi gwerthu. Dwi erioed wedi gweld ffasiwn beth a mae yna jyst dangos bod y ferchnad yn, 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 yn hedfan ar un o bryd. Ar negysion dwi'n gael, dwi'n bobl lle o bobl ifanc lata yn o bobl sydd uh, ar ardal sydd eisiau parhau i yma a, 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 a um, gweithio yma. Ydy bod nhw'n teimlo bod nhw'n cael eu prisio allan. Mae hwnna'n peri gofid mawr i fi, achos dwi'n mae yna ofid wedyn a'i ydy hain yn mynd i fod yn dai mae pobl yn byw yn mynd barhaol i allu uh, cyfrannu i'r gymdeithas drwy'r flwyddyn yn sydd eu rhain yn mynd i fod yn, yn, yn dai sydd yn mynd i fod ar gyfer um, tai hag ati. Mae hwnna'n bryder yr bethau ni wedi byw hefo fel yn wynedd yn unedig ysblynyddoedd bellach a dwi'n bod pobl lleol rwan yn, yn cael llawn bol ac eisiau rhywbeth ddig gwyd amdano fo eisiau mesur a ddod yn ei lle lle mae modd um, cael y cydbwysedd yma lle mae pobl yn dod yma uh, i fwynhau uh, yn ystod yr ha a pa martyr wyddyn braf ond hefyd i allu byw yma. Beth i'r ateb um, Dwi ddim yn siŵr rai fi gyfaddau yma, ond mae'r ein i gyntaf, mae'r ein i gydnabod o, dwi'n mwyn rhy siŵr os di'r cydnabod eith yna yn llywodraeth eto. Jim, are you seeing this, you know, based in North Wales, you're going to, to kind of be noticing this trend as well in terms of uh, the purchasing of, of houses? Can you hear me, Jim? Sorry. No, I, I didn't hear you. Sorry, you're Sorry. fading. I'll take your pardon. Ah, uh, no, it's okay. Um, have you noticed the same trend in, in terms of your, your area of North Wales, isn't it, in terms of um, the purchasing of houses? Yeah, I, I think it's um, um, an epidemic at the moment in terms of the number of houses that are on the market, not just in the rural areas, but also in the coastal areas. And even stay along the coast, there's many houses um, that have got sold signs on them. So it's a, it's a very difficult one. It's something that's been around for a long, long time. And I understand how emotive it is. And, you know, it's, again, it's market forces because local people, you know, who want to sell their property will want to sell it for the best price. We, we know that. Um, how it's going to be tackled going forward, to be honest, I have absolutely no idea. Mm -hmm. I think um, the, the, the worry is, again, coming back to where I started, is that the anger from the community is directed towards, you know, the visitors and people who have second home and use them as holiday accommodation. And um, which, you know, they entirely entitled to do that but I think if it's managed and they are part of the community and they employ local people and they pay their you know their council tax uh, above and beyond what normal people pay within those communities then um, you know they're, they're, they're doing everything that they're expected to do however it's, it's I think it's part of a, a bigger plan that needs to be addressed you know from uh, people you know in government uh, going forward. Thanks thanks Jim. Gareth Tisha de Moon. Ie, yeah, dwi wedi bod yn um, cynghori lleol am ddeg mlynedd ar y llama fechan um, sy'n gweld y gwaniaeth. Um, Mae'r LDP yn dod allan nhw'n tybo, Local Development Plan. Mae yna amser i cyngor sbian efo, tybo, dwi gwybod bod yna dau ffordd dodlu, ond mae'n rhaid i watched ar ôl yn pobl lleol, rhaid i watched ar ôl i pobl ifanc, rhaid i helpu nhw ar yr ystol na i brynu'r tu cyntaf yna, nid ar ei mynd i golli nhw. Um, a, yn dim yn anodd, Mae'n rili yn anol, ond 35 yn bath y dyn pan maen nhw'n bildio tai uh, newydd uh, yn, yn fforadwy i, i bobl lleol. Um, mm. Mae rhaid i'r senedd, mae rhaid i, I pob sbio sydd fyddwn ni'n newid. Ni si ni'n rhaglen y pawb efan blynyddol yn dol. Yn y Swiss dyn ni'n si weld, oedd yn rhaid hyn a hyn o bres 
i pobl yn y plwy a yn yr ardal i helpu nhw i aros na. Um, yn dim mae'n anodd i, i ni wneud hynna efo pres tre talwyr, ond os da ni eisiau cadw i cymeriad Cymraeg ar pobl yma, haid ni wneud rhywbeth, a tybo, diolch mae'n mynd i blesio bob, dydiodd ym, mae gennaf i dri o blant, tybo, dwi eisiau gweld y trin yn nhw byw yn llama fechan, cos dwi wrth y modd efo'r lle yma, mae gennaf i fyw'r drydryddeg i wneud siŵr bod nhw yn, a mi na i wneud siŵr bod ni yn mwtio rôl nhw. Hefyd haid, tybo, i'r cyngoras bio ar reio'r hogi yma sy'n rhoed, planiau mewn am dai, tybo, tai ar fe, ffermydd a ballu, a, ar 106ys ma, ballu, haid, haid nhw sbio yn nhw, a raid nhw drio, helpu y to i fanc dod i mewn, a tybo, mae'n lot o adaladau ar ffarm sy'n cael ei ddefnyddio fyd, fysa hwnna rhywbeth fyd yn ei ddefnyddio, mae lot o brown sites, gym yn gwybod, yn yr ardal, tybo, lle fyd, industrial areas, lle sa'n i yn medru defelopio a wneud tai ffordwadwy yn ddannedd yn nhw. Um, mae'n lot o beth a fyd yn ei wneud. Yn dim, mae'n gymlaeth, ond eto gweithio fe gilydd i'r dyfodol. Ond edrych falle ar y rheolau te cynllunio, felly, yn dyfau, tra gweld beth gallwyd gyda'i wneud i, I, I helpu i fy sylfa. Seidi, do you want to come in on, on, on this issue, isn't it? And uh, I'm assuming Pembrokeshire has got a very similar similar issue in terms of uh, the housing market at the moment. Yes, I can definitely agree with that. Um, so where I live, the, in the past probably about year and a half, there have been two new housing estates built in my um, rural village with uh, 30 plus houses in each. Um, one thing which I definitely think is an important issue to focus on is affordable housing prices for people within the local area. Um, I am 17, so in a couple of years, I'm definitely going to be looking towards buying a house. And I really love the local area which I live in. And I would love to live in the local area when I'm older. Um, the inflation of the housing prices, uh, especially within recent years, has definitely been something which has been on my mind lately. Um, sort of looking towards buying houses, um, you know, you don't really want to be paying an overly inflated price for that, especially looking um, at buying one at probably at about age 21, 22. Um, but yeah, I definitely agree. I have definitely seen an influx of um, people not from the local area coming into the village, um, which is amazing as it obviously get, um, gets you to know new people. Again, builds community spirit, but I definitely believe that houses should be more affordable, especially for people within the local area. Um, and again, in Pembrokeshire, it's definitely something which is very apparent. Mm -hmm. People look to move down here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sadie. Right, we're going to something totally different now. Um, so um, there's a question come in, and I didn't think we'd be talking about the US elections tonight, but the question uh, talks about the US elections um, and saying that the only time that Wales got mentioned was when Wales entered the firebreak. And that given that Wales has contributed such a large number of people to the USA in terms of uh, migration, etc., what would the panel recommend we do for the USA to recognise that we are Wales, not England or the United Kingdom? We talked about promotion earlier, Jim, isn't it? What, what, what do you think we should be doing in terms of promoting ourselves and our, and our perhaps brand Wales internationally? Um, I'm not, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be just the US, of course. I mean, we talked about Japan earlier, isn't it? But you know, what could we be doing to promote that Wales brand uh, internationally? First and foremost, we don't need to be throwing hundreds of millions of pounds at any country in order to raise you know, the profile of Wales. And I think as an exemplar project, you know, the work that we've done in Japan has been developed through uh, developing deep, meaningful relationships. So not only um, had Japan and the powerhouses of uh, Japanese tourism identified um, a, a town in Wales, Conway, as one of the top 30 most beautiful towns and villages in Europe. And they themselves started to promote that to their market. And three years later, they then came up with a new campaign called the Top 20 Most Beautiful Roads in Europe. And it was the North Wales Expressway, the A55, that they selected. And they called it the Road of Castles in Wonderland. All we did was embrace that, showed um, that we cared, started to develop deep, meaningful relationships like I had, leading to, first time it's been done, the twinning of Conway Castle with the Measure Castle. And a lot of work is starting to be developed now between you know, the education sector between the town councils and the city council over there as well in order to raise our profile, you know, from Japan and also from here. So, but we, we, we're doing it with Korea. 
we're doing it with other areas. And it's rather than going for the whole country, I think you just target an area, be very, very specific in what you're trying to do, and eventually the news spreads. And I think that's what works really, really well for us and put us on the map in Japan. So if we can replicate that in other places, then so any, anything is possible, isn't it? So Gareth, what do, you, what, do you, what do you think we should be doing to try and promote Wales? Just carry on regardless as we are now, I think. <laughs> we, we've got so much to offer, you know. Um, I've been working with a German television company um, over the summer and so many of these people are enjoying the language, um, the way that we live, you know, the, the whole aspect of Cymru Cymraeg, you know, it's it may not earn more bwysig i the Nordic. Um, American, to my, 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 my pobl sy'n dweud o'r un edrych eithaf, y mae canol yn nhw, yn dros y blynydd, oedd chwe am blynydd, a dan ni wedi bod yn yr immersive tours, na dechan fychan, a dan ni wedi creu momentum, maen um, nhw'n dweud o bob banner, byd o an, tyfo, nath, nath gym allan, I, I um, Japan ac a gath allan efo calonna bach oedd yn hogan bach hyd yn ed Welsh Woolen Hats ac um, tybo, oedd, oedd hynna yn wych cwrs da ni wedi gwerthu hynna mae ma Raig a Mari y ferch yn neud nhwan a maen nhw'n mynd dros y byd i gyd tybo mae ma yna cyfleion i neud busnas a gwerthu Cymru Dim, dim just uh, it's about uh, uh, advertisements and therefore that my social media my platform in the gate and with that any gate quite a gilid he went to the skin and he was John Flynn was John Pembroke was John Samba Vechan to my my you know Peter do we defend your singer in a dear Hannas to my question Hannas my Hannas and Marlott um to my mental in Kelchide Carnedd a'i 200 a'i igian yn ynw, da ni wedi bod yn ei rhaglenni dros y byd yma nhw, a ar y funud da ni mewn sefyllfa lle da ni wedi creu marchnad i'r merlod yma, a da ni wedi gwerthu hynna dros y byd wrth mynd a bobl y fyny yn yr honda pae ni y bygu bach a mynd yn nhw drawn. Tyfo, oedd nhw'n ffliio mewn i bod y sgallan a wedyn dod i fam a'i llawn a fechan a dod i fyny wedyn oedd nhw'n ista lawr ac yn cael y cinio dy sul o Mrs. Jones di cwcio, cig ni yna, lle si, o pobl wrth i bodd. To, ie, yeah, ni fedra ni gyd neud yn rhan ni werthu beth sgyn yn ni yma. But then, uh, what about you, Sadie, isn't it, in terms of that international presence for businesses, perhaps smaller businesses in Wales, and being able to, you know, to sell that on a global scale, isn't it? Yes, I definitely think um, sort of distributing products on a global scale is one of the most uh, important business objectives that I've set myself for this year. Um, as of this year, I have noticed uh, business growth. I have recently had a sale going to Canada, which I was on, honestly astonished at. I actually had one yesterday uh, going to Canada. Um, I've had Australia and uh, places such as France. Um, but in terms of uh, marketing Wales as such an iconic country, we have such a uh, fascinating history. We have such amazing culture. Our beaches are amongst the most clean, the cleanest in the world, which I think is a really important um, factor which other countries should recognise. Um, in terms of we are Wales, we are not England, we are Wales and we are our own country. I think that's definitely important to recognise. Um, one, being a media student, one of the most um, fascinating things I found is that a lot of the tourism in um, the South Wales came from um, Harry Potter. Specifically in Freshwater West, um, there is this particular site which was um, the death of one of the characters in Harry Potter. And within that year, there was a huge influx of tourists to that one particular place in Freshwater West, uh, which is a beach which is quite close to myself. So even including Wales in um, maybe a TV series, movies, for example, Game of Thrones, a lot of um, it was filmed there. Um, even things such as small as that can maybe make people recognise Wales as its own individual country and appreciate um, its beautiful wildlife, um, as well as like, iconic castles. And again, I'm a celebrity. Um, continuing next week is one thing which I think would be amazing for the local economy. Obviously, the beautiful castle in Wales is being uh, recognised. I was having a look and it is 
honestly gorgeous. Um, and I think that that will, again, help people recognize um, how beautiful our country is as a whole. And again, it being on um, British television, broadcasts all around um, Britain is something that will definitely draw attention to our amazing country. Yeah, I can't wait to see that starting next Sunday evening, isn't it? Um, Eilir, uh, we're nearly getting to the end of our time. So uh, Eilir, if I can come to you. I think it's very important to me and I'm going to talk about my pawb arall is on and I'm going to say that I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to talk about it and I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to talk about stiff competition in America because I'm going to talk about it. It's fantastic. I'm going to talk about it and I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to talk about it and I'm going to talk about it and I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to talk about it and I'm going to talk about it and I'm going to talk a edrychwch ar beth i'n hanes ni a anhyd yn lledrith ni y mytholeg fel y Mabinogion um, a hanes y seintiau. Um, Sbiwch i'r holl pentrefi yma hefo, hefo llan yn cychwyn uh, 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 unwar y pentrefi yma. Um, Mae yna gyfoethogrwydd hanes yn bob un pentre, bob un cymdeithas, bob un cymuned. A dwi'n meddwl falle bod ni angen dysgu'n hunan am yr hanes yna. Dwi'n meddwl bod ni ddim yn trwyth yn hynef o cenedol yn hanes ni hunan. A petai ni yn dysgu'r hanes sy'n plant ni'n ysgolion o beth i Cymru a beth sydd yn gwneud ni'n arbennig. Falle sy'n hawsach i ni wedyn, ffeindio i'n hawsach i, I hyrwyddo hynny. Um, dwi'n dwi teimlo pan dwi'n siarad am y peth weithiau efo cyd Gymru. Dyn nhw'n weithiau'n gwybod amdano fo, weithiau mae'r ymwelwyr yn gwybod yn hanes ni yn well na ni'n hynan. Um, so dwi'n meddwl bod yna wers pwysig efo yna. Um, Ac hefyd yn dod yn nôl o sgil yma o beth dwi'n ymweld â'i digaeth i yng Nghymru i'r dyfodol ydy, ydy Cymru iachach a falle bod ni'n yn gwneud yr Cymru fel man iach i mynd iddo fo. Os ydych chi'n chwarae'r stereotype Americanwr te o dros i bwysa a fiach. Um, Dwi'n chi Gymru, y lle fydych chi magu um, ymarferion iachach fel mynd allan mwynhau'r awyr iach ac o bwyd mithlon iach ynddo. Da iawn. So, creu, creu uh, maen nhw'n gweud pan i'n bach nata yn dyfed, ydych chi beth yw'ch USP i chi yn dyfed eich safbwynt unigryw chi, ol fi'n credu bod eil yr rhesu sawl peth fan na um, yn dyfed gallwn ni fod yn gweud sy'n unigryw. A, a dwi'n ddiolch gyrru iawn i pob un ohonoch chi uh, fel panelwyr uh, hyn o maen, fe na ni trwy eich gweld i chi ar gyfer um, dyfodol cen glad ac yn sicr Mae'n rhaid i wneud dwi'n mwy calynogol ar ôl cael y drafodaeth yma ymwneud pwy uh, faint o, o, o gyfleion, uh, faint o gyfleion sydd yn y gael uh, i ni y uh, byw yng Ngwlad a falle beth eisiau yn ni o hyder yn dyfed, gael hyder i, I grybwyd mm. sawl gwaith yno, yn dyfed, hyder i fyn allan yna a bod uh, yn hyderus yn byty beth i gyda ni fel Cymru a fel um, Cymru gwledig i gynnig i bobl sydd eisiau dod i ymweld yn ni a hefyd eisiau dod i fyw uh, yma hefyd neu sydd yn byw mae'n barod yn dyfed. Felly, uh, diolch fawr iawn i chi gyd fel panelwyr am eich, um, eich cyfaniadau gyd. Thank you very much to all of you for your uh, contributions. Diolch fawr hefyd am y cwestiynau um, sydd wedi dod mewn dyn i ddim wedi cyrraedd hanner y cwestiynau. So mae'n flin dy fi uh, i lein a sydd ddim wedi cael eu cwestiynau wedi cael eu ateb, ond uh, mae'n mynd bod yn drafodaeth lawn iawn um, a, a dwi'n ddiolch gyrraedd iawn i chi uh, am y cwestiynau hynny sydd wedi dod yn rhwydo. Felly, um, mi ceb o hwnna'n dyrwyn uh, noswyth my Ben, Jochen Vorjaunichi, um, and Osweta.